Hey there, welcome to our WordPress tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to customize the look and feel of your web shop. First thing first, we need to head over to the customizer to get started. Navigate to your WordPress and find the customizer option. Once you are there, you will see a bunch of customization options to tweak the appearance of your website. Now let's focus on the font. Search for the Google font. Actually, font play a big role in defining the personality of your site. Now click on the first link. Whether you want a sleek and modern look or something more traditional, choosing the right font can make all the differences. I will be choosing a sans serif font here. Let's see, there are a bunch of fonts here. So. And you can choose whatever fonts uh, suits you best. So I will be choosing Hebo fonts here. Now click on the uh, three dots option, and you can change your uh, website look. There we have uh, four types. As you can see. Let's check this one. I will be choosing the second option here. Now click on the design button and you can change your fonts here. Now search for Hebrew fonts as you can see. Now it's changed. And you can change also change the color if you want to just click on the color as you can see we have different options here as you can see It's up to you which one suits you the best. But I will recommend to go for your logo colors. And I will show you how you can uh, take your logo colors easily without installing any extension actually and this is our uh, header you can change if you want to change the header um, just click on that and you can customize that easily drag and drop nothing else as you can see if you want to add other options just click on the plus button now let's publish that as you can see in the Nike website we have different options and as you can see the product details And we will be changing our products like Nike. As you can see now we have art to cart option like blue in colors. We will be changing that too. As you can see now we have a professional look. So. As you can see
Now click on the design button and if you want to change the result count, product sorting or sidebar it's up to you it's up to your website so as you can see and if you want to remove the add to cart option just click on that it will be removed Now let's uh, change the product options if you want to uh, give them a spacing to star rating and you can also hide the star rating and title or description or other things And you can easily change the fonts of your for your entire website or specific element like heading or price fonts etc. And you can change the entire website font. Uh, just go to the typography, then you can change them easily. And I will show you that later. And you can change the color from here and you can if you want to change the color of entire website you can go to the color option in the customization or you can change uh, the colors one by one it's up to you now let's change the color actually it doesn't look in good let's uh, change the color of our website with the logo color let's go to the canva.com sign in click on the start design button then click on the continue with google if you have a google account just log in we have different options here if you have apple account google account or facebook account just click on the login button it will automatically log in so i'm already logged in the karma now let's go to the click store logo so here we go this is our logo if you want to fix the color you just go to the heading and text and click one of the text and then click on that now text color and then here we go we have a photo color but let's try that with a fin point as you can see that's how we can take the color now coffee close that and paste it here as you can see now let's change the second color and make it a little bit darker or brighter as you can see now let's change this color click on the edit option now go to design and click on the initial 
and paste it here let's change the second color let's make it a little bit darker you see Now click on the publish button or go back and if you want to change the font let's change that to Hebo as you can see let's change the font to Hebo Now let's change it back to default. Let's see other fonts. Let's go back. And I already told you about site identity, so no need. And here you can change your font, entire fonts here easily in the typography. It's up to you if you want to change it one by one. And this is our color. You can change that from here directly. I'll leave the rest so go back let's change the footer as you can click on the footer option now click as you can see I already have clicks to all right reserves so if you want to change that to something else it's up to you just like this by typing by Sadiq or something else And you can also add uh, other option in your footer just click on the edit option this we have these colors here and you can change the fonts let's choose the hebo And you can add other things in your uh, footer let me show you and you can add all of these things if you want to so let's add uh, social widgets Let's add social here. Click on the social button. Now let's see. So we already have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let's add uh, YouTube and WhatsApp. Let's remove that one. So this is WhatsApp. Let's click on the plus button. Now let's add YouTube. Click on the plus button as you can see. It isn't looking good so let's change that.
click on the bottom row now let's change that to two let's see now let's change that to four let's change it to three now it's looking good so Now click on the publish button so If you want to change your product so let's go to the product You can add sidebar or let's leave that. Let's go to the card options. Now let's uh, change the product image here. Yeah. And you can also change the image size, uh, it's up to you. Let's change that to 1000. Let's leave it to 500. So. And you can add hover effect. Let me add the swap option here. Now let's go to the private browsing you will see the swap option and you can also add the zoom in and zoom out and you can add button spacing bottom spacing actually Actually, it's up to your practice. If you do more practice, then you will get better and better day by day. Let's change that to Ebo's right. So. And you can add page title and you can also remove that so let's leave it as you can see the swap if you have multiple images then it will swap automatically let's change it to zoom in now let's see press the page as you can see now let's go to the view to cart option and here we will be adding coupon and other options so let's go to the customization now let's go to general and you can also change the star rating colors yeah and other option options so now let's
go to the checkout page and you can add the company name coupon form or you can make it to required or you can change it uh, or you can change it to optional or make it hidden so let's go to hidden So let's make it optional because it's the second address line. And you can also add privacy policy page here. Let me add the refund and return policy page here. So and here we will be adding refund and return policy. Now let's change it back to privacy policy. And you can add I have agreed, uh, re I have read and agreed to the website term and condition. Tick box actually. Now let's see. As you can see, this is our checkout page. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.